<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to the proxy life how's everyone doing this evening oh, it's good to be back it's good to do another design stream it's been a while on chat i have reap and fluffy with me as before how are you guys doing hey hey who do you believe oh. all good on my end <clears throat> no complaints yeah, that's actually cool. cooled down a little bit which is thank oh. goodness True, true. I'm very happy about that as well. Still have my fan on and windows open. <laughs> but at least nice it's not blues. as hot nice, as it was. Yeah, I have a nice breeze to the room here. So it's like, ah, thanks you very. Nice. Very nice. I just want to see something here. <clears throat> there we go awesome just a few little audio adjustments there <laughs> reap got the first of course you had to reap that's unfair that's supposed to be for <laughs> for neon and flings and those guys that's that qualifies as cheating I used the same link they would have used. It's not, like, it's, not like I, it's not like I got preferential treatment. We all got the link at the same time. <laughs> True. Well, guys, if it's your first time watching, I am Proxy, and welcome to the Proxy Life, where we play a lot of games, and we're going to start diving a lot more into creative content, branding content, designing content, um, with some with a splash of lifestyle things here and there. Uh, we're still fairly new but thanks for tuning in and if you like the content remember to hit that like button and subscribe or yeah, yeah, gently sure. gently caress the subscribe button and violate that like button <laughs> an odd number of times an odd number of times never even never even it's got to be an odd number of times <laughs> just make sure it's still active don't leave it unlike or unsubscribe <laughs> i hope everyone is doing awesome and Tonight, guys, we are doing our part two of the Pure Paragon website redesign. Um, it's been a few, it's been a while since we did part one, um, but the holiday season happened. I, I went to Joburg, but I'm back. It's new here. It's a new start. And um, yeah, we're doing part two. I want to get this thing finished. I want to do, I'd say there's probably going to be about three or four episodes, maybe five. Um, and then I want to wrap it up and then potentially start building the website. I don't know if I'm going to do a, a series on actually building the website. It's a bit of repeat content. Unless you guys really, really want to see how I build, how we build the website. Um, that's up to you. Let me know in the comments or in the chat. Uh, but that's potentially a follow-up series we can do on this one. Um, so where we left off last time, we finished up the registration and sign-in section of the homepage and we moved down to the second section where um, you, you can pretty much create your own guild. But I, I, I want to change things up a little bit here. I gave it some thought today and there's a few things that um, will not really change that I want to reorder that make a little bit more sense. But um, 
let us let's jump into the right scene here and get started awesome so this is where we finished off last time this is our landing page where the user will be able to either register or sign in to the pure paragon website um, and then scrolling down we ended up with this section where it's a call to action to create your own guild um, so a lot of the features is behind the registration sign in that's why the menu at the moment only has guilds game servers and streamers but that's also something i i want to work on a little bit i'm not 100 percent happy with that um the the images are all we in my opinion the images could all be placeholders at this time generally i'd like to go and create my own Im images or um hire someone to hire illustrator to create custom images for sites like these but for the time being i am using a plethora of websites where you can find free free resources um, and that's what we're using at the moment the the point of this series is redesigning the website it's not a series on um, illustration or um, creating backgrounds or those types of things which is why i'm using um, free to use assets so just going over here to our map a little bit of the site so we're busy with the landing page and the dashboard section well the, the it's not really dashboard let's just call this landing page as well we'll get to the dashboard later on that's um that's a whole different page that needs to happen so this is the top section the sign up and login and then i want to do three sections below it which this would be the first section but now this is where i wanted to do the first little change um where the one we created is creating your own guild i want to change it up a bit i want to put some bullet points in that section because on the landing page you want your audience to know exactly what it is you're offering um so i thought i thought a few bullet points would be a nice way to um short simple get to the point of what you can expect from the pure paragon website um, the second section will be guilds, not what we created where you can register a new guild, rather a, a call to action section or, or an advertising section with the three latest guilds or three most active guilds or growing guilds. Um, and then the very last section before we get to the footer, I want to do a streamer section because in Pure Paragons, they're promoting streamers as well and trying to help them grow their their viewership and whatever they're doing in their stream which is really cool and i think that's an important part to get on the home page as well to show people that um hey look you can register you can sign in bullet points showing you um what all is possible on the peer paragons website the next section is showing some disc some discord servers and the last section being the streamer section um, from there then we'll move into the site what happens when you register um, or sign or sign into the pure paragons website then you get a few more a few more options in your menu um, and a bit more fun well quite a bit more functionality but that's all things we'll get to so for the moment what i'd like to do is just move this off to the side i don't want to get rid of it because we'll use it later on but as i said i'd like to do some some bullet points so i'm not going to um, dive into the content um, as i did with this section i'm just going to use lorem ipsum which is placeholder text just showing that there will be content there but that's ultimately up to the site owner to either write himself or to give me some guidance um, after the stream to write the content form not that i'm a copywriter by any means but um after so many years of web design, you get put in positions where you kind of have to come up with your own content. So um, let's give this some thought. Firstly, I want to actually want to grab this just inside. Yeah, grab those three and copy it over. And then this I would like to group and turn it into a can I actually just drag it in here? No, I can't. Uh, and just create a component out of it. Cool. 
So now I just want to get rid of some of this copy because the bullet points really aren't going to be that long. Um, maybe get rid of the line and we can just move this up a bit. And something like that. And then we can say here, bullets one. Well, let's make that green. Bullets one. Uh, one. There we go. And we can get rid of the rest. Awesome. Just this. Let's make it a bit smaller. Cool. So. What's nice about InDesign, you can check your layout box and it gives you some columns. So now, let's make a placeholder before we go hunt for some, some icons to use. What's up Hunter Wolf? How are you doing? Who else is in the chat? Who do we have lurking around? Come forth and show yourself. So Reap Fluffy, I forgot to ask in the previous streams. What's yeah. your what's your New Year's resolutions? Uh, <coughs> Fluff? Me. Um yeah. New Year's resolution, New Year's resolution. Um. <laughs> mine, mine Fiora. Mine Fiora's birthday cake. It's very Norse. <laughs> Wait. Do you see me? Uh oh. Can I get cake, please? Yeah. No, just, no one told me that I cut it. Yeah, uh, God damn it. I, I need to kill my, my NVIDIA capture thing here it's annoying me for some reason it works when i'm in design programs <laughs> it's very nice let's bring cake well happy birthday to your father <laughs> uh, what's the shortcut for nvidia stuff again old z, old z. Ah, there old we z. go let's turn that off Oh, I just wanna, is it the frame rate thing in the bottom corner that's... No, no, it? no, it was um, every time I'm hitting my shortcuts to copy or resize or something, oh, it tries to right. take a... It tries to save the last five minutes of the screen time, which gets oh, gets okay. a bit annoying. Okay, so I just want to really give the idea here. So... See, prototypes and stuff, guys, is more to to give an accurate depiction. So I don't have to create the specific amount of bullet points. I just want to illustrate here that potentially a maximum of six bullet points um, and the general way they're going to look. I mean, things always change. The clients might definitely want some changes. Well, more than likely, they always want some changes, um, but it's just to give that raw idea that of, of what you're what you're trying to achieve hmm. and chat what's oh reap did you tell did you say what your new year's resolution is uh, are we still no, waiting no, on fluffy i, I miss fluffies yeah uh, <laughs> See, this is a nice thing if you guys create if you create components. I'm editing one component, but it's changing everything all at once. Mm. So I don't need to go into every single little one. I'm a little bit unsure about this. Oh, okay, yeah, it's going to change the text as well. There is a way around that. I'm I still need to figure that out. Um Cool, so I'm going to, hold on, let's just grab this. I'll just do something like this. Yeah, I'm too I'm over, I'm over encumbered. 
We just over encumbered no. you. Bring me cake. <laughs> no over encumbered. Oh. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 So, Flo so Fluffy, I take it you don't have a New Year's, a New Year's oh, no, resolution. I do. I do. Dollars, what the fuck is happening? Um, well, okay. A New Year's resolution. Okay, well, I wouldn't say like much major changes, but like, I say one of the biggest changes is like, I say I have my own place. It's uh, actually by maybe mid year or so, but uh, um, oh, I that's, think one of the biggest. Uh, that's quite biggest an epic one. The biggest one, for, one of the biggest ones for me was to like my first CrossFit competition as well. I'll be doing like I think May, I think. If the what? Oh, shit. A CrossFit competition, like the first Ooh. one in May. So nice. we'll see how that goes. And of course, then new GPU as well, which is uh, should be next month. Nice. That's, that I, would, I would say that's my three. Mm -hmm. Might be new ones. Who knows? And I'm reap you. Uh, I don't have one. I, I gen genuinely don't do New Year's resolutions. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like, like for me, why wouldn't I have just done this before? Like, why does it take a new year for yeah, me to get yeah, my yeah. ass in gear? No Very problem. true. Chat, you guys? Any, any awesome New Year's resolutions you guys are aiming for? I've got a very simple one. Uh -huh. Easy, easy to achieve. Just try a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> try a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it's simple, it's straightforward. My New Year's resolution: try a bit harder. <laughs> cool. So next, 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 I wanna go look for some gaming-related mm. icons. Mm. Ah, here's my dessert. So, where's my damn dessert? Bring me cake, woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're so demanding, Reap. <laughs> so this is a this is another free resource website called thenounproject.com, where you can get some pretty cool free icons. It's it's the first time I'm using it. I actually only discovered it today, so I'm giving it a test run, and we'll see how it goes. Mm. <laughs> Deliver cake to reaps. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm looking for um, first one. Let's try gaming. Let's see what cool icons it gives me here. Yeah, pretty cool side actually. Mm. Um, well, it, it, I'm looking for something. It's not necessarily like console or pc it's like gaming in general but oh, i think a controller okay. conveys that message pretty pretty well that's the, that's the easiest one yeah so i think i'm just going to choose a simple icon like that i think the most confusing one is choosing that buffalo in the blocks uh, okay i gotta create an account damn it okay so none does, doesn't really matter it's still a cool site just create an account and you guys can use it but i am then in that case going to jump over to flaticon.com similar sites where you can get free icons <laughs> where i already have an account so i'm not going to create an account now here on stream um, i'll do that afterwards and we'll give it a test run in the next one promise but for now let's go oh Oopsie. Gaming. Uh, yeah. Let's just grab this one. <laughs> Reap has failed persuasion check. <laughs> F. Reap. Reap, roll a d20, mm. see what you get. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So that has been downloaded. And the nice thing about Flat Icon, you can download it in a SVG. Um, and if you're working in a program like Adobe XD, you can bring it in and you still have full control over it regarding color. Where if you, where if you grab a PNG or a JPEG or something, you won't have that functionality. That's the nice thing about SVGs. 
um, well, the nice thing about that web, that particular flat icon website is that you can download it in a SVG format. Mm. Cool. So I want to change its color to something in our color palette. Let's try that. I want to put it over here and see what that looks like. So in XD, when you adjust like that, you've got to hold shift or else that happens. So you'll click and hold, drag with shift, and it'll adjust. Or you could simply, up here in the transform window, you can just lock um, lock your dimensions. And then let's say you want it 100 wide. Ooh, yeah. can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I forgot I set my mic mute for Discord to zero on my numpad. <laughs> uh, so every time I type in a value, it, uh, it mutes me. Uh, let's try 80. And again, as I said, you have full control over it now. So you could go in and select, let's just see here. Okay, it's a full, it's not a border. I thought it was a border. So in that case, let's turn the border on and the full. Well, turn the full off and the border on. And we can set that to about five. No, let's make it three. Yeah, that looks better. And then we'll tell the border it needs to be on the inside. And there we go. And then we can just copy that over. the original ones again that's what makes the SVG nice in in XD or any any program really that uses any design program should really be able to use SVGs and then you can edit the icon as much as you'd like so I'm just gonna Oh no, not the full. Oops. <clears throat> I don't know if I like that color. Um, I, I do like the color. I just don't know if I like it there. Yeah, maybe we can stick to the blue and use change you to the same color yeah i think uh, that looks a bit better what I'm do you guys think that looks cool actually what did you prefer the pink right. what's up kinslayer i dig the green it's kind of like that button that you had in the first screen yeah I don't hang on let's let's stick with the pink quick I want to see something so let's change you your font color to the pink as well because I kind of want to keep a button for well a, a color for actionable things like buttons and stuff so if it's going to be the green whether it's tech link text links or um like the, I'm doing in the menu here, like active links or stuff, stick it to, keep to that color, stick to that one color so that um, in a subconscious way, the user associates that color with an action they can take. Right. And I don't think the purple, or the well, pink slash purple looks terrible. I, I got might, cake. I might actually just take some capacity away make it a bit darker like that make it about 90 damn zero <laughs> just to make it pop a bit just make that 
opaque mm. background, a bit lighter. Kinsler, what do you think? And secondly, what's your new year's resolution? <laughs> I'm still waiting. Um, Hunter, yours? I'm interested. This year, I just wanted something that's easily achievable. Just try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, shit. Not the whole thing, just the five. Awesome. Now let's go hunt for some more icons. So first one, gaming, what else do we have? We have uh, clans. Let's see if we can get a cool clan icon. Answer already, lol. Start a comic I've been planning for a while. Oh shit, did I miss that? <laughs> but that's pretty cool. That would be really, really awesome. What's the, what'll be the comic's name? Or do you, I hope you have a name picked out already. Hopefully. <laughs> Why? I type in plan and it gives me feet and stuff it's like what's it ninja turtles the foot clan <laughs> nice. um what's another word i can let's try guild no not build guild land nothing <laughs> not build <laughs> club Now let's take that away. No, nope, nothing for Gil. What's another word I can use, guys? Um, oh. Actually, I icon for guild. Actually, this could work. That could work. Hunter Wolf, I've got the perfect name for you. Turrets and Tentacles. <laughs> we need a comic for that. Oops. Let's get that icon in here. Okay. I think it's What was the size here? We went with 80 wide. Let's lock the dimensions and make it 80. Damn it. <laughs> Vikings here. I like that thing purple. That is good. It's also growing on me. Uh, Maybe let me get some more uh, lustrous color. Ha. Gotcha. Okay, so let's just do something like this. So, gaming. So yeah, as I said, the headings can be anything. I'm just naming it so that um, there's some a little bit of guidance and context to the icons that's in there. Um, this was supposed to be clans, clans. Cool. Uh, let's do servers that's a pretty easy one to find server now it's going to give me a waiter or some shit huh um i don't know which one to use <laughs> i like you let's oh. just use let, let's keep it simple in line with the other icons we've been getting Awesome. So 
Let's drop that in. Mm. Where's my colors? There it is. And lock that dimension and let's make it, oh shit, that's not good. Let's just drag it then. To about, there we go. No, I'm clicking all the wrong thing in all the right places. Let's make it a bit smaller, let's make it 70. Next up, we have, what, what shall this be? So we have gaming, we have clans, servers, uh, stream, mirrors. It's a bit long. Streams, streams, stream. Yeah, let's just go with stream. We can change it later on. Faction. So clans to faction. I like that. I don't know if you meant for the search term or the actual heading, but um, I'll change it to faction. And the main menu as well. Let's change that to to factions. There we go. Cool. Okay, stream. Let's find an icon, shall we? Gonna give me like water or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I actually like that. That's that's simple, straightforward. Gets the job done. My personal style when it comes to iconography, I like it. I like it very simple. I like the line, line icons as I've been using. Every now and then you get some some pretty nice detailed icons but majority of the case personal personal preference for me is uh oh sh what's going on here I'm grabbing the wrong way wrong one uh personal personal preference for me has always been the simplistic line icons just i like that clean look uh let's lock that and make it 80 no if I hit the zero key one more time, <laughs> maybe, I must, maybe I must just take just a second or two and change it. Yeah. <laughs> Make it like right control zero or something. Like zero is yeah. too common. It's way too common. When, when I was using it, the game we were playing, it wasn't. But I wasn't thinking ahead like, like times like this. Um, that looks a little bit off. Like some in in design it's not always you don't always have to stick to the exact measurements like that like the precise center because sometimes the precise center looks it throws off the eye a bit like in my opinion this looks a, it looks low it looks too close to the bottom there so always always focus on making it look right rather than having it perfect center mathematically see nudging it up just a little bit makes all the difference same with this the server one it doesn't have too much space at the top but still just nudging it the two or three points makes a big difference mm. and it looks it looks aligned to the eye now when you look at it it looks like it's in the middle the computer knows, well, like I said, the numbers and stuff, it's not in the middle, but it looks like it is. And that's, in design, that's always more important. Well, in web design. Uh, well, if, in fact, I suppose any any type of design, given it's your goal to, to align something to the middle. Um, cool, so 
ideas what what can we make the bullet point five and six let's see yes so we have streamers game service clans discord we can make this one of them discord We are trusted gaming site because we use Discord. <laughs> um, I just want to look at my alignment here quick because it's starting to feel a little bit, a little bit tight. Let's just move. Oh, gosh, that's not part of that group. Let me just drop it in there. Nope, not like that. Why is it doing that now? Why is it dropping it? Anyway, fine, I'll just do you separately then. Aha. I just want to line it. Maybe like that. So let's, let's actually check it, how it look in the browser quick. Yeah, that looks good. What do you guys think? Hmm. So this menu bar will obviously be a sticky menu sitting at the top of the screen. So as you scroll down and you get to the top, this menu bar will start sticking to the top and it will scroll down with you. Um, not in the prototype step yet, of the design so i'm not going to add any functionality to this particular design to do it i'm just i want to finish uh finish designing the actual pages then we'll focus on on functionality or if in chat like us while well, chat like i said if you guys do want a, a separate series after this a follow-up series of me building the actual website um then i'm not going to dive into the actual prototyping just the design and then start the second second session or second mini series of building the actual website because in there you guys will be able to see the the actual functionality behind it instead of me just faking it in the prototype cool so we need a discord logo i'm sure i can grab that at flat icon as well i'm sure they have to have the, their logo there discord Um, oh yeah, Fluffy, so mm -hmm. any thoughts on the that interesting cyberpunk article you sent on the oh, WhatsApp that. group? Uh, I'll keep my thing. I don't know if Reeve saw it as well. I was like... I did, I did. Hmm. Uh, bring it up. Yeah. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. So again, the nice thing about the SVGs is it's a full color logo. But with the SVG, when I bring it into the design program i can go and change the color now that's that's very bad practice actually you should never ever change or edit any company's logo um, but i suppose grayscale or something like this is not terrible you can still get away with it but generally it's a it's a no-no to edit companies logos in any anyway but i think this this well we can get away with <laughs> thanks kinslayer i'm glad you like it anyway reap you want to read the article i'm not gonna read out the entire damn article i'm oh, just okay. gonna bring it's it up to like refresh my memory so yeah. now um i have only seen this once i don't know how true it is but i i'm looking at it now it, most of it makes sense uh, I don't know how big that like, the promises are, but like what's interesting is that they said the OG Silver Hand was inspired by David Hayter's Solid Snake and Cillian Murphy. I was like, isn't Cillian Murphy the dude from uh, like Peaky Blinders? Isn't it that guy? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Oh, speaking of, oh shit, uh, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Um, oh yeah, 
uh, again, I don't know how true this is. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple of people have reported on it, but I don't know if they all just, you know, hopped on one article collectively and just jumped on the bandwagon to get it out. You know, friggin' journalists are. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, and take this with a grain of salt, yeah. Gerard Butler, Kratos. Oh shit! I, I heard. I heard about that. I was reading about. There was a whole bunch of different articles about it. But oh I don't shit! Know. Is it? Is it really confirmed? Like I, I don't know. Now, like, what is confirmed is Oscar Isaac as Solid as Solid Snake. Yes, that's definitely confirmed. Yeah. Yes. But uh, apparently, yeah, Jared Butler as Kratos. Like, I that don't dude know. is like what fifty something, which means nothing. As fucking Tom Cruise is fifty odd, and so True. is. Uh, Damn Keanu I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just never but like, seen... I don't think he will look like you looked in 300 <laughs> as a 50 no. year old. No, <laughs> no, no definitely, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> What's up, Flings? Or what up, Simon? Flings? Keith. Simon Keith. Alric. You sound like something from a Knight's Tale. You guys remember that movie? <laughs> I do. That's was like one of my mom's favorite chick flicks. Don't worry, mom, my mom and aunts as well. Yeah. Uh, why does the name escape me now? Yeah, General Butler was 36 when he was in, in 300. In 300, and he was ripped to shreds for that. Oh, no, God. of course. But, like, with the amount of roids and shit that they can have him on, I mean, Hollywood can do it, but it could kill the man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I know, right? In a sense, you know, a lot of people thought, okay, maybe Jason Momoa. Oh, maybe this, bro. Maybe The Rock. I don't know. Uh, nah, I think The Rock is too charming to play Kratos. Yes. Yeah. Nah, not gonna work. But uh, yeah, is Goldberg still alive? That man just looks like Kratos, like straight up. No, even, <laughs> you know, even today. Norwick right? is a beast. Norwick is a beast even today. Hell, is your remember. big show is looking like these days? Jeez. Oh shit, yeah. No, he's, he he's got a rip. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't he also have the beard already? <laughs> he does! Boy. Good god. Boy. Cool, I think we were done with the bullet point section. What do you guys think? Legit. Mm, yeah, legit. legit. Okay, so I think we can actually get rid of. Or well, maybe not. Maybe we can use that, but. Wait, when did we lose gaming? Um, we didn't lose gaming. So, so just to add a little, uh, you know, something with regards to the whole cyberpunk thing. So right? it was oh, yes, that, that was what we were recently. talking about. There's something came out recently. Um, so there's a mod. Uh, cause I've been watching all this stuff that's been coming on nexusmods.com. Mm -hmm. to cyberpunk and so someone managed to mod the whole romances part where like you know the male v could actually romance judy oh and right is judy not can... a romanceable character oh uh, shame oh crap oh, damn it fluff oh, damn it. <laughs> God damn it, anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter now doesn't matter now screw it no i'm already past the part that part in the game well she's okay. a romanceable character yeah technically yes so so technically, when they actually modeled it, it was still Mental. the whole. Uh, they, they had the, they had the whole dialogue. Yeah. yeah. They had they had the whole dialogue and whatever, and um, so <laughs> it seems like CD Projekt Red confirmed that that is actually content that's supposed that actually supposed to be in the game. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. <laughs> so they cut that, that out. Is, yeah. So clearly, it's meant to be there. So they said no, it will happen from our side as well, but. Yeah, the model's like, screw you, I'm impatient, I want this now. <laughs> well, what, there was, what, 160 gigs of content missing? Well, cut. You know, that's where I'm sort of... Mm. That's a you whole lot of content, dude. That's a lot of gameplay hours. Yeah, like, I, I've you. reached I reached a point in the game now where it's... Um, it, it literally tells you point of no return. Mm. And it, oh, it okay. prompts you if you yeah, yeah. if you have any other missions or stuff you still want to do or want to finish, you need to do them now. So I'm at the point now where the main campaign is like pause, and I'm just messing around in the in the city and finishing up as many 
uh, as much content as I can. Because there's a lot of really, in the sideline quests, there's some really good story lines and content. Oh, holy, I mean, I'm doing all that shit now. I still haven't met yeah. Rogue. You haven't met Rogue yet? What? No. <laughs> How? You should holy be there shit. by now. You got more hours than me. Like, maybe like six hours, I think. <laughs> like, like, I should be doing side stuff. It's fun. Yo, the the, side, the, it's crazy. The side All stuff. the damn Easter eggs and shit. Look, like the, the side quests oh, are very, very my boy Gary. Everyone mm. has finished the Gary quest, right? Yeah, I have. Uh, uh, I think so. Chat, Hunter Wolf. <laughs> I remember you yeah, were doing it last time. Chat. I, I don't know if anyone does it, but anyway. But okay, but but you know what? Back to the lines. Like it says, like CDPR scrapped fifty thousand plus lines of dialogue, and the June update, which is from this uh, alleged leak develop this developer put on 4chan they say this June update will bring a lot of cut content back into the game oh and that's of good of course the underground system someone discovered obviously the monorail system which hasn't been you know I would say implemented and mm -hmm. then, there, then there's the whole AI uh, routine where, with minor gang violence in those areas players could watch it unfold or influence directly now that sounds exciting like you know actually see proper crimes happening around Night City which I would love to see it, it yes. makes sense with all the modders, you know, they're fixing up how the NPCs are behaving. And now you actually see them, you know, properly interacting with things. Because which, which for really the people about. digging through the code, they can see there is a lot of stuff that is there that just, they didn't have time to finish or implement. Yeah. Or yeah. Sorry, before it wasn't you polished continue, enough for so them to take forward. Yeah, so we can expect from now till June, some stuff to be coming back. Which and is I, to be expected. I mean, and, uh, if you remember I, how The Witcher was rolled out, it's yes. pretty much exactly the same. There was it's so much extra thing. content and weapons and armors mm. and arcs and things that came out after the fact, which is why I'm, I want to get through a playthrough of Cyberpunk now and then just leave it the fuck alone and then come back to yeah. it in a year and play a different game. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, like, when this content comes back, then, you know, go through another, like, a playthrough and then, hey, exactly. you know, I could, I could enjoy a playthrough with all the content here and get immersed in this belly thing. So guys, what I'm doing right now, I've, mm. I'm moving on to the to the next section because the, the bullet points I'm happy with. Um, so the next section I'm working on is the guilds section. So instead of what we did before where you can create a guild, I want to leave that for after if you've actually registered or signed in. You should only be able to do that uh, once once you've signed up for the for the services. Um, doing this when someone clicks create a guild and they haven't signed in yet they're going to be prompt to have to sign in or register and you, I want to avoid that I want to um, well not avoid it it's something you want the users to do um, but on the home page I don't want functionality like that I rather want informational pieces that entice the entice the user to sign up so right now I'm working on the guild section and here I'm just going to put maybe four or five of the guilds that um, that I th know of that are already part of the Pure Paragons in here as feature pieces. So right now I'm just working on the layout a bit of how I want to show these. Um, but just using blocks, I'm not, not really designing it just yet. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to lay it out. Sorry, you guys can continue with your, your cyberpunk. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I, I, I've shared my, my, my face shit. My face shit. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have any ideas while I'm designing this, please shout and give your thoughts. Will do. You guys as well, chat. If you guys have any ideas for what I'm doing or you find anything cool that looks cool online, that could be inspirational send it let's let's have a look <clears throat> did some research judy is canon lesbian oh yeah no i've i've noticed that in the story as well some of the things she says and how she talks it's they, they kind of make it obvious xmlv seducing judy Hunter Wolf is digging now. <laughs> Hunter Wolf is looking for the truth. <laughs> oh, yes, guys. So, 
my mom told me earlier today there is a slight chance escom might try and shed shed the loads again tonight at about yeah, 10 o'clock and it's confirmed, it's confirmed already is it's it confirmed, confirmed? yeah, yeah it's so where, where's I'm, yours going I'm, down i'm, I'm meant to go for 10. mine's 10 as well so guys um i i don't want to keep having short streams but i don't really have a choice if escom keeps doing this to us for anyone that's watching that's international yes south africa has a little something called load shedding which Not pretty means which, pre, which pretty much means the country the 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 company that has the monopoly on the power supply for the country escom they don't have enough <laughs> power for the country so there's they have schedules set up to pretty much put the power off in certain areas from time to time as irritating as that may be um to try and save on electricity and tonight's one of those nights again apparently sadly so what i want to do either tomorrow night or sometime sometime this week still i want to finish up this stream um so it will be part three but considering this one's going to be a bit shorter than thanks to escom i i'll do a a special extra stream this week sometime maybe even sunday i'll have a look just keep your eyes on the discord um the schedule channel and you'll you'll see when we when i schedule the next design stream i do want to start doing a lot more design stuff um for transparency purposes i have told reap and fluffy that the gaming side of the proxy life which has been dominant at this point in time like 90 percent well even more i'd say 95 percent of the content on the channel currently is is us streaming games which isn't a bad thing i mean we all enjoy it i enjoy it um but i i put reap and fluffy in charge of that i'll still be jamming games i'll still be streaming games um but i want to focus a lot more on the actual creative content um so as far as deciding what games we're jamming and doing um voting scenarios for games you guys want to see reap and fluffy is going to handle that and i'll be i'll be shifting my attention a bit more to the creative side this type of stuff as well as um pre-recorded footage edited footage that i upload to youtube um, and i need a bit more time as well for for the website and things like that cool extra things um, but like i said i'll still be gaming i'll still be streaming games as well um, i just need to pay a bit more attention to this type of stuff this was the main goal for the channel to to start with <laughs> the the gaming and everything was supposed to be like a like fun little side note and that that went so well that kind of became the main main focus so i just want to try and shift it back to like a 50 50 percent type cut and i've got some catching up to do <laughs> <laughs> i've got some serious catching up to do <laughs> um right so uh, let's see. I need to... Okay, so I think I'm going to just use placeholder images here because I need to actually go and collect um, the logos and images from the clans that are part of the Pia Paragons or factions that are part of the Pia Paragons already, which I don't have. I'll, I'll go look for that content but for now i'm just going to use a site called um uh, what is it called unsplash unsplash.com for free what? unsplash you uh. in splash.com it's free uh free images you guys can use i use it in the previous stream as well um really really good site give uh if you use the images in an a actual um work in an actual work piece that you're going to be selling or for clients just give a shout out to the artists that take the photos or the photographers um the details i'll, I'll show you guys now when i find something but i'm just gonna go gaming Let's see what it brings me that's a pretty cool image so I'm going to download for free and then it gives you a pop-up say thanks give a shout out to the photographer on social copy that so you can you don't even need to, as far as I understand you with this you don't even need to put the shout out 
in your actual project, you can just give them a shout out on social, um, which I will do after the stream. Because right now I really don't feel like signing into <laughs> into any of my accounts. Right, so this image. Um, so I've just masked the image, which means that that this block over here, that's where the, I want the content to be. So I want this image to sit inside of that block. So I select the block, I select the image, and I hit Control Shift M for mask. So it puts that image inside of that shape. So now if I double click into it, the full image is still there, but I can move it around and you'll only see through this little view port that I've created. So I can scale that down, move it where I want it. And if I click out of it, there you go. So this is a non-destructive way of working. I mean, anyone that uses Photoshop is, should be well versed in masking. Um, but it's just so that if you want to change the image or you, if, if you go and cut the image to this, this size, the part of the image you're cutting away, you can't get back again, unless you control Z a lot um, and lose whatever work you've done thereafter. Um, doing it like this, the, the full image is still there. If I want it, the image to be from the other side, I can literally just click in move it to that side and click out and there you go it's always always a good idea if you don't know how to go do a little bit of research on the internet of how to work non-destructively in applications like this or photoshop or illustrator it, i promise you guys it'll it's a lifesaver <laughs> Right, so I need two more images. Like I said, I'm just using placeholder, placeholder images here um, for the clans. Although I will go and get their actual logos for each, as well as the image from each. Um, and I'll be using that here instead. But that'll probably, again, this the purposes of the prototype or the, the design is to give the idea of how it's going to look and function so um, I'll probably only have those assets ready um, when it's time to build the build the site control shift mask let's go back in and size this up <laughs> alive I, i'm playing cyberpunk oh. and uh i've got this fixer mission where oh hello oh, she's alive um you have to get one of the net runners uh, who's like jacking to the matrix and stuck there yeah and uh basically you know, you gotta pick it up and like you know put it in the car yeah so instead of just you know going down the stairs, I just thought, ah, I'll just jump the balcony with her in my arms. Uh, oh, I did the same thing. <laughs> I did the same thing. I jumped out. I looked down. She just like splattered on the floor. Like, oh, shit. dude, I was uh, so disappointed. Are you in myself. okay? Uh, I, like, I, like I scan her. And then the fixer calls like, you and says you killed. And... <laughs> no, 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 mine was alive because I landed oh. in a bunch of trash. Oh no, mine died. Mine hit the pavement. <laughs> oh no, no no i landed in like a bunch of like black bags and trash and shit like there was a big splash animation so like i'm good <laughs> like oh you okay i scan and like you're still breathing pick her up put stuff in the trunk oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> dude the the legs the legs upgrade in that game is so damn pricey i think it's like 45k um, Worth the dude. The double I know jump that, is that double jump. I that's what I'm that getting shit. at. That's what I'm getting at, dude. That double jump is so worth it. So, chat. The whole purpose of why I want to start focusing a whole lot more on the design aspect, while branding, creative lifestyle aspect of the channel, 
is as all the regulars know eventually i want my i want us to have our own proxy life studio like an actual studio that's fully equipped with anything someone might need to create content um there's a lot more to it i'm not going to dive too much into it at the moment but that's the end goal um and a big part of that is going to be putting out proper creative and branding content uh, i'm still finding i'm still i guess as as the channel grows and it goes it'll become more refined of where i'm focusing the creative um the creative content i mean there's so many avenues i mean there's web design i can strictly focus on youtube content creation like the design process for thumbnails and um, all that or streaming design there's just so many avenues so for now i want to focus a bit broad on digital design in general and as the channel grows i'll see where your where everyone's interest is um through the comments and the likes on the videos and things like that and then i can start catering it a bit more towards towards that it's a it's a process but we'll get there great so we need one more image here nope fortnite not gonna happen <laughs> let's do like a this dude shouting that's a pretty cool image Going around, racking people <laughs> with a tongue has never been more fulfilling. <laughs> the my only problem with Cyberpunk, right, is like Reap's problem was when we were playing um, Dark Souls, is fashion souls. Mm -hmm. Like I, the the items and stuff I'm getting in the game, it'll be so epic if they had a what's the right term in the the new, tra the new transmog system that's yeah so mean. transmog system because at the mm. moment my character looks like a a pink michael jackson on crack stormtrooper <laughs> that's the best what? way i can my character looks dope as hell yeah, I'm still my, wearing my just, looks like cute. i always I make sure that like i look good yeah and i've still <laughs> got decent armor i'm not gonna sacrifice stats for looks <laughs> I mean, I'll so sacrifice I've, like 10 armor for some to look a little better. So at the moment, my character looks. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't have words to describe it, but it will be cool if they have a transmog system. So if you find a cool piece of armor and you find a stronger one that lo doesn't look great, you can make it look like your the one you like. That would be mm -hmm. awesome. That's that's something they definitely should consider adding. I mean, now the, I don't, I'm going through my stuff right now. I can break that down. I can break that down. Okay, so I want to break down everything that I'm not wearing. Ooh, what about that? Oh, one thing I, I, I can never do. I, I, I can't wear hats in this game. That, that, that's one thing I refuse to do. I know, I've worn hats. I found some cool no. hats. Nah, not for my character. That looks shit. Dude, my character says it looks like a freaking hacker. No, mine looks like a freaking Terminator. Well, actually, yeah, mine could possibly be a Terminator. Hang on. I'll put a screenshot in Discord. <laughs> um, yeah. Games and stuff. Yep. Right, so what do you guys think of this section? Um, thus far, I'm not quite done yet. So this will feature five clans. So the main one being, of course, the Pure Paragon, well, factions, um, as uh, Kinslayer put it. So the the first block, the big block, will be the feature one, uh, which I'm assuming at launch of the site will, will be the Pure Paragon's faction. Um, and then four four of the other factions but this can be a rotator as well on a month-to-month -month basis someone a new clan can be a new faction can be featured in the main block 
Um, yeah. Alternatively, if I wanted to go full fashion soles, I'd probably just keep it like this. Now, let me uh, grab a heading here. So, Chad, just to let you guys know, I'm working fairly slow compared to how fast I normally work. I just don't want to. I don't want to work at my normal pace and then overload the content. I'd rather work a little bit slower, have a chat, enjoy it. That's why I said um, I'd rather have like a five-part series or four-part series. Not too long, not too short. Um, I just don't want to completely just blast through it and then <laughs> people need to re-watch the video like <laughs> four times if they're interested in <laughs> In getting a good idea of what i was doing um, and if there is anything i do in the videos um that you'd like to learn about um uh, not saying i'm i've been doing it for a long time but there's a lot of things i do that can be done faster and easier um i just work the way i feel comfortable um like i like i said in the previous session that i'll do some pre-recorded edited actual foot uh content for youtube while dive into the right way to do things or the not necessarily the right way there's many right ways but the the easier and faster ways to get things done um that'll be more tutorial like content that i'll put up on the channel for these design sessions i'm like i said i'm just taking a chill i'm just working out i feel comfortable um not really tutorial content this um, this is more the thinking behind it and the the actual tools I use, like the these images and the icons, and just general Q and A. If you guys have any questions, um, what, as I go, you guys can ask and I'll answer it. Well, I'll do my best to answer it. <laughs> uh, faction name. Okay, but now I need to make that stand out a bit because that's hmm. <laughs> yeehaw hat for the win. Let's play Maybe around with the colors. Maybe get a nice yeehaw hat. Yeehaw. Oh no, that's dying out completely. You know what? I think I know what I'm going to do here. So let's create a block. Make the background black. I'll just match it up here. Something like that, and then we can drop the Drop the opacity of that, say to about 70, just to, just to make it stand out a bit more. Um, I think we can put a little bit of text in here, just a, just a bit of a, what the clan's about. And this will make a bit smaller maybe a bit less less text something like that maybe this block we just make it the this section like that and we can drop it a bit more to about let's say 50. we just need it a little bit darker just so the text is legible Maybe bring it a bit more out to the side there. Yeah, I like that. 
And then what we can do... For... The rest of them... Hang on. Let's grab you. On our one of our different font styles, the smaller one, and now we can just align it to the center and drop it in the middle of each of these, <laughs> or maybe to the bottom, considering we're going to feature their, their logo there. So it'll be a once we have the once I have the logos. Right, we can I can figure out a bit how, how it's actually going to look but right now this is the idea and then we can take the same block we use there and make it a bit lighter again about say about 30. And let's see what this looks like. Cool. So you have your landing section. Scroll down what you can expect. So if gaming, faction, service, stream, and discord. Scroll down and you get your your clan section. Well, your faction section. Where we, with three faction, five factions will be featured. I think that's pretty cool. What do you guys think, chat? Reap, Fluffy, thoughts? I'm good with that. I have no complaints. That looks solid as all hell. Mm. And then okay. now you get out. Oh, those just placeholders until you get the actual like faction tags. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I just wanna group all this stuff together cool there we go i'm gonna actually move it a bit down and just drop the hitting Here we can say meet some of our factions. What can you put around that image to make it stand out against the backdrop more? Again, okay, the, that board is not working, so... Let's try... Let's try something like this. Just want to see how we did this top section. I guess it's one down and one to the side, so... One down, one to the side. So this top welcome section has that white backdrop to it. So now I've added it to that as well. Better? Is that what you what you were thinking? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Opaque panel like you did for the first one. Where it gets more transparent as it goes down. Oh, for like this one. That could work. That could definitely work. Let's give it a try. So what I'll do then is let me grab this block. Move you to the top. There we go, and then 
instead of a solid i want a linear gradient the first color i want solid and the second one also black but let's make it about 20 percent okay first one also we can let's do it at about 75 maybe a bit more let's say 90 Bring you down to about 10. Is that what you meant, Hunter Wolf? And then these ones, I was thinking, and so one big block. It's actually, it's actually try something like. Maybe even a bit darker gradients on these ones for well, opacity. I don't want to do a gradient on these because they're a bit small for gradient. I suppose it could work, but. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, check the comment. I meant over the background layers since the images are kind of dark in the center. Yes, okay, let me give that a go. So then let's copy the, well, actually I can just copy the one from the top here. Yeah, that one. Copy that. Drop that in and arrange it to the center back and bring it forward come on there we go i'll bring it over the white layer as well it is feeling very dark now maybe so darkening it up let's lighten it a bit see what that does about 30 on that one remember contrast is key if you want to make something stand out you need to contrast it so if i'm putting a the with this content already being dark if i'm putting a dark background to it it's but a, then maybe drop shadow the title because it looks kind of foggy so I'm gonna if you're gonna put, you're gonna put the white up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because the background is already, already white. So I don't need an overlay. I can simply just drop the opacity of the actual image. Yeah. And then let's see what this looks like. No, not dark. Dark. Let's actually see what it would look like full screen. Mm. Hmm. Maybe we can play around a bit with a background <coughs> image here. Maybe we don't need this particular image. Let's move that aside and grab something like this. Ooh. The tones and the images, I feel like I am going to need a bit more lighter images and not as dark images as I... Well, those are just placeholders and you never I know used. what images the, like, clans actually have. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, just as an example, grab one of these quick. Uh, just to, just to see. Images play a big part. So if I... So like I said, non-destructive. I don't need, need to delete this image because I don't want to lose that. I'm just going to go in the mask and over that image drop this new one. So both images are there. This one is just higher in the layers list than the other one. Oops. 
so now if I turn you off yeah I'm still gonna need that overlay though but now it doesn't have to be as dark as it is it can just be a slight okay maybe a little bit darker Yeah, I think lighter images here would do the trick. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it is a contrast because most of these gamer images are quite dark images. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the website's tone is already dark. So that aligns nicely to the whole gamer style and aesthetic. So it's a bit weird trying to find lighter gaming related images. There's a few here, but nothing really that grabs my attention. Um, but yeah, like you said, it's just place all the images. So screw it. Let's, um, let's grab a PS4 here. Never know, there could be a PS4 clan out there. Probably is. So again, I'm just gonna go in the mask, over the, the original image, drop the new one, and just bring it down to size. Just like that. A little bit weird, but we'll see what it looks like when I have the actual, actual images. A bit darker, it looks a bit milky. This block for the text. So I'm gonna change it back to a solid color. Oh no, not the whole thing. Oops, just you. A little bit darker, you say. Fifty five, fifty six. Could actually even now nah, let's just leave it as is currently. What's the time at? Okay, it's nine o'clock. Well, just about nine o'clock, guys. Um, let's take a quick break. Uh, I do need some more coffee. Um, so go grab some coffee, grab some snacks, go to the bathroom, do what you got to do. We'll be back in a, a few minutes. It's not going to be a long break, um, considering we're getting load shedded at ten o'clock, um, and I need to I need to shut down the stream maybe about 15, 10 minutes before ten. Just so I can shut down properly um, mm -hmm. and the power cut doesn't hurt my PC. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'll I'll drop in the Discord when we'll do the follow-up of the stream. It sucks that it's getting cut short tonight. I wish yeah. I really wish it wasn't. If. But if. that's life. I only found about I only found out about it a bit earlier today, so I couldn't really cancel the stream or reschedule it. It was a bit too late. But um anyway guys, we'll see you in a minute or two. And we'll finish up the section and try and get the next section done as well before before we have to call it a night.
And we're back, guys. <clears throat> like I said, a quick little break. Um, and we'll continue. I actually had a bit of a, a design thought. I want to make some changes here quick before we move on. As you can see, I just changed the, the actual background image before hopping back in. Um, um, it's one we... Ooh, I actually didn't copy it. I actually just dragged it over. So let's just put a, put a copy back there so we don't lose any assets. So instead of... Where is it now? Uh, instead of the one I had there, hang on, let me actually just redo it because I think I I lost that previous background. There we go. There it is. So instead of this background, I'm gonna drop that back over here. I'm gonna grab this one. I think it just looks a bit better. Also, drop that one in. And I will grab the transparency from the first section, put it in here as well, put it behind all the content, and there we go. I think that looks a bit better. And then this, I want to bring this opacity down to about 75, should be good. Cool. <clears throat> so Fluffy, Fluffy just informed us of a bit of awesome gaming news. Care to share with the with the chat, Fluffy? Okay, well, the thing again. Okay. Uh, uh, now. Um, okay, so I'm actually just going to work over this section with what I want to try now. Okay, cool. I'll just put in the Discord as well. Uh, yeah, drop in, it in the Discord. In the channel as well, but I'll read it as well. Um, Happy New Year. We believe it's important that players get to experience a new IP like Outriders before release, so that you can decide for yourselves whether the game is something you wish to pre order, purchase, or play. For this reason, we're excited to announce that on February 25th, 2021, we'll be publishing a free demo, giving everyone a chance to play the first few hours of the game with all four classes in both single player and co op along with seamless migration for your character and progress to the full game. Speaking of which, we have decided to move the release date of Outriders to April 1st, 2021. Parentheses, no joke. We will spend this extra time fine-tuning the game and focusing on delivering a fantastic play experience at launch. Thanks for hanging tight a little longer. We appreciate your patience, the Outriders team. That is amazing. That's so guess what? We're streaming soon. <laughs> Like, like he was saying, uh, the, you know, because when last actually seen a nice good public demo, right? So exclusive, exclusive to damn streamers. Now we get to play it on stream and say, hey, is this definitely worth our purchase? Um, you know, buying it like a month earlier and saying, hey, look, because especially to have seamless car for a demo is very impressive. Yes. Oh, if they're that confident, I'm taking that trickster it, class. If they're Oh, so right. confident in their game to pull that or to pull a demo off i can't wait that's gonna be good then i'm probably gonna take a devastator <laughs> i have no idea what i'm taking well there's a trickster devastator pyromancer and technomancer Technomon technomancer sounds pretty cool yeah, so, so basically to sum it up, the Devastator is a close range tank and stand your ground. The Pyromancer is medium range, conjurer and fire. The Technomancer, well, that clearly is Proxy's glasses, long range of gadgets. Oh, um, and the let's go, is close let's range. go. <laughs> the Trickster is close range, hit and run. Oh shit, and sorry guys. I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong <laughs> scene here. Cool, so I haven't done much. And uh, just to recap the actual background of the section I've changed. And I'm just trying something new in in this section. So I haven't gotten rid of what we did. It's already there. I'm literally just working on top of it. Sorry about that. I completely spaced out and forgot to change the scene over. <laughs> um, but yeah, that definitely sounds like my class, dude. Uh, yeah, we put the solid snake bolt. <laughs> it didn't run space then. What the fuck? Teleport in, slow down. Tear them to shreds, teleport out. Oh! You know, you just appear, you appear in, front, in front of them, they try and attack it, I just punch them in the face. They don't see me. 
you, but I gulp. What do you guys think of that? Oh, let me actually full screen it. So instead of featuring five, it'll be four, and then just a t uh, like a content card on the left. Or it gives some information about the factions in general. So it's pretty much similar to the bullet point, but just fleshed out a bit more. Just a little mm. bit more content on it. My thoughts? Opinions? Yeah. I like you, I like you. I dig it. So each Until of those going to have their own fleshed out page? Yes. Each clan, one once logged in, each clan will have their, well, faction will have their own space on the site. Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. So this is just a little, little preview. And my thoughts are, if you were to click on one of these blocks, um, you're, if you're not registered and you clicked on one of the, or signed in and you click on one of these bots, you'll go to their page where it'll give you information about that specific faction. Although you won't have any real functionality on that page to interact with them or not. You need to sign in and then you'll get a whole lot more um, functionality, which will allow you to join the faction or mm -hmm. communicate with them. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Cool. So I th I'm happy with that section. Um, I actually do like this info card a bit more. It, it cleans it up a bit. I mean, let me just actually group this so it's all together so I can move it easily. This this works, but it, it feels too busy. There's too much happening. My eye doesn't know where to look when I look at this. I don't know where my starting point is. Where with that it's still busy but your eye is immediately drawn to this block well at least my eye is immediately drawn to that block which is what you want you want to give a bit of context to the section here and then i don't know about you guys chat you can tell me what you think or fluffy and reap but immediately after this my eye gets led to the right side to these four blocks I think it works, oh, which, is, which is the hierarchy here. Like this needs to be your, your top content and this is secondary. So I feel mm -hmm. like your, the, your eye movement is you're focused on the big block. And then Ooh. I kind of move over to the, to the left of oh, the right. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm just thinking on the slightest of an opaque overlay over that. Uh, blurple block. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's now more bright colors. Blurple. Blurple. Okay, cool. So, again, I don't really. I get what you're saying, Hunter, but um, I'm just thinking about contra contrasting it again. Like, I would personally rather make this a bit darker the actual background here just to contrast this section to make it pop out a bit more and then maybe this one I'll I'll make it a bit darker again. 86. Because you want, you want one that has a bit more life, a bit more color to it that's not as dark. I might actually just lighten this up a bit as well. Make you about 40. And you about 50. Um, in the, like I've been saying about contrast, the actual sections, I want them to contrast each other as well. And at the moment, it's there's a bit, not enough. 
I need to play around a bit with it more. But for instance, this is a bit brighter. It's got more color. You can see the image a bit clearer. And then the next section, this needs to be a bit darker. So I'm actually going to take that up to like 90% and yeah. make it a bit darker. So you have that that contrast. You can. I want the background of this section to to more function as a texture rather than an image. <clears throat> so it really makes it pop. You can still see there's some detail in the background. And then the next section again, you want it a bit more colorful, um, a bit more of a background. And then the following section will be a darker section again. Just to get that, you just to get that break between the sections. But you, as you scroll down, you know, okay, this is a new section of content um, and it's not flowing down from the previous section. In my opinion, there's, when I start doing the, when I, when I start recording the, the actual design and branding content tutorial videos, um, there's some fundamentals of design that I wanna go over. Um, one of them is of course contrast. And in my opinion, um, it's to me, it's one of the one of the more important ones that I focus on a lot because contrast you can achieve in in many forms. It's not always just color or how like the difference between this text and the background. Um, a square image versus a circle image that can that can give you contrast as well. Um, so there's a few design truths that I want to go over, but I'll do that in the in the actual tutorial videos. And when you when I put that out and you go through it, then everything I'm doing here will start making a lot more sense. Well, I won't say but a lot more sense. You'll just get a deeper understanding of how I'm thinking about constructing these sections. Right. So next up. Our final section is the streamer section. Oh yes, so I checked on the app, right? And it says the load shedding uh, schedule starts at 10 o'clock, but our area is only getting load shedded at 12. So stage two starts at 10, but our, our load shedding, what do you call it? Time frame only starts from 12 o'clock. But I don't know if I can trust that. There's been many times where the app was wrong. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going on tonight. Flip, it's actually meant to say 10 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm safe. So, let me just That's what you think. See, the, it changes so often. That's why I don't know if I want to trust it. So, warning stage two is planned to start at... See, now it's 11. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 10. It's 10. It's planned to start at 10. And then it says... 2200, 2200. Uh, table view no legging no load shedding scheduled right now so okay so if you open your schedule what does it say well that's what it says can you so see I'll that add, um, uh, uh, table <laughs> yours is zone 14 eh? uh i think so yeah zone 14 table view okay no, yours is, at, yours is at midnight. Yeah, midnight to 2.30. I don't know, chat. What do you guys think? Do I risk it? Do I just go for it the full stream? It, it says midnight to 2.30, so you're safe. I, I hope so. I the suppose one... Did, the, yeah. I the suppose if it's not, week, then uh, I, one power cut hopefully won't kill my PC. I do have a surge protector... Um, that my PC is plugged into, so it shouldn't shouldn't hurt it if the power just goes. Ah, you're fine, man. But if that is the case, then I think I think I'll just push through and do the full stream as scheduled. Right. So next section, streamer section, ideas. Fluffy Reef, what do you guys think? Streamer section, streamer section, streamer section. Put a mm. big self portrait up there. <laughs> big self portrait. <laughs> big, self, big, self, big, self, big self portrait and a compilation of streamers smashing their keyboards. <laughs> Fling style. 
Like the one I posted in the, in the WhatsApp group the other day. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want to repeat what I've done here, although this would have worked quite nicely for featuring streamers as well. Um, but we do want a contrasting section like this again. Um, mm. And if you want to stick to the style we've been working with, it's quite a, if you look at the first section, it's not, it, it's busy. It's not, in my opinion, overly busy, like too busy. Then the next section is a bit simpler. It's um, more to the point. Then it's a bit of a busy section again. So naturally the next section, I, I think it should be a bit more simpler. So I don't want to give too much, too much details of the streamers in this section. I just want to make the, the user aware that streamers are featured and it's an important mm -hmm. part of the community. So seeing as it's supposed to be a simple background, I want to use this, this background here, the one that I originally wanted to use for the, the faction section. Yeah. So I'm going to use you there as a texture. I'm going to grab this overlay and drop it on top of this one. So that again, you get that, that hint that there's, it's a, on this one, it's a bit too dark. So I'm going to lighten it up here. Maybe 80, 86% that hint that there's a tech, that there's something going on underneath it. Um, just want to line it up nicely. There we go. Cool. Um, I want to grab the same heading style as we have. Mm. but now i want to mix it up a little bit i want to do something okay maybe no that's not gonna work okay let's go find some let's go find an illustration i'm gonna go to a site called free pick again it's free resources you guys can use And uh, uh, here, uh, was it uh, was the static one? I like that uh, quite cool. Uh, which one? Static ones that use the icons. Oh it. yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going you, to. Do you normally default to that site, like as like your your, I say like your normal site for icons, or do you have other ones besides that that you kind of play with too? um i've got quite a few actually so let me actually just open a few of them up so we have unsplash for the images we have a uh, flat icon for the icons we have free pick that i normally use for illustrations or this type of stuff um, then another one is pixabay which is a mixture of illustrations and photography oh no no wait um, i'm no no i'm mistaken um Pixabay is video clips, free videos you, you can use. Then I have, uh, hang on, where am I now? So Unsplash, Flat Icon, Free Pick, uh, Creative Market. So this isn't really, you do get some free assets and stuff here. Creative Market is normally where creators would come and sell it's like a marketplace where they sell templates and um ui kits okay. but but they do have some quite a bit of free content as well um from fonts to illustrations most of the time it's fonts um so it's a good place to come check for that or like regime templates um but that's one i use um then uh, Pick Jumbo is another one that's also more photography stuff. Oh, okay. Um, then I have uh, Shutterstock, but that's paid for. Shutterstock, you you got to yeah, have yeah. a subscription oh, yeah. or you pay for it. Um, then there is uh, Material Design Palette. 
so this is of course Google's material design, but it's a nice way to to create color palettes and it gives you a little preview window here of a design where mm. it gives you the complementary the complementary colors um, and it gives you the full color palette at the bottom here that you can just simply download. Um, so that's quite useful. Um, then I have subtle patterns, which is exactly that. It's subtle patterns to use in the back of your designs. Um, then next up, so then there's Adobe Color, which is also a color palette. I, I think I went through a few of these in the previous stream, but I'll just go down my list and yeah, yeah, yeah. show everything that I use. So in Adobe Color, you can choose what color uh, color sequence you want, whether it's triad or compl uh, complementary. Uh, but they also have the explore section where you can go and type in a search term and it'll give you color palettes that other designers have put together um, that you can obviously use in your designs if you find one that you like. Um, there's also trends. So graphic design trends, illustration trends, architecture trends. So it's a it's a really good resource to to find color palettes, and you can also upload a image, and the website will automatically pull a color palette from that image for you. Um, and then Font Awesome, of course. I think Reap should be familiar with this one as well. A lot of devs use this because oh, um, yeah. uh, you can directly pull these into your websites. Uh, so yeah, Font Awesome, there's there's a lot of paid for things in here as well, but you can simply just click on the free filter and type in what you're looking for and it will give you free icons to use. But this is this is much more simplistic icons. It's not nothing like flat icon type things. Um, then this I use quite a bit as well in my in my design. So if uh, for instance, I need a, a section for Instagram. Um, and I want that block where I'm featuring Instagram to have the same colors, their brand colors. So then I can simply just go and search for Instagram here. And then it will give me everything I need to know about Instagram's colors, the whole color palette their Pantone colors, their hex colors, the RGB. So Instagram uses a lot of gradients. That's why there's so, well, they use a gradient, which is why there's so many colors. It's one for each color point in their gradient. Um, so this is nice to look up other brands colors. Um, this I haven't used too much, but it's still a good resource to know about and to have um, called Giphy. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Giphy. Um, pretty much, you just search something and it gives you a whole bunch of GIFs that you can use. Like I said, I haven't used this too much, but it's 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 in my design resources. Um, next up, of course, Fiverr. Um, Fiverr. I'm sure many of you also know Fiverr. This isn't really free resources, but it's nice if you need a, a content writer or or something, someone like that, that's good at something that you're not. And you'll not get, you won't break the bank usually for services on Fiverr. Just do your homework here. There's a lot of people that are um, still new to their profession. Um, so if you're looking for really high quality stuff, you need to do a bit of digging and a bit of homework on the actual um, creator you're looking at on Fiverr. Um, mm. Not saying that um, novice creators or designers can't produce high quality stuff. They by, by all means they can. I've seen it before. All I'm saying is do a bit of homework on the person you're looking at hiring um, beyond Fiverr. Try and find their Instagram or their Facebook and just to just to get a bit of a deeper understanding of the, the type of work they produce. And next on the list, I have remove background. This is this is pretty cool. Um, again, I don't use it too often because I have Photoshop. Um, but for the guys that don't have Photoshop, 
you can literally upload a image. So I'm just going to grab one of the images um, we used. I don't know if this is gonna how well this is going to work because this image has quite a bit of color in it. Ah, it worked perfectly. So you literally oh, upload an image and it cuts out the background for you. As simple as that. Oh, and you click on download and you get your cut out image. Mm. Um, I think download HD, you need to subscribe or sign up or something, but you can use it for free. You can, um, you can literally just download the preview, which if you're using it in thumbnails or Instagram or something, it's, it's high enough quality. So depending on the image you upload, the, the contrast in the image makes a difference. As you can see here, it didn't cut out the cable for the headset perfectly. Um, but again, like I said, there's, it was a really dark background, not a lot of contrast. Um, and the light could have had a bit sharper lighting on the actual person. Then it would have done a much better job at cutting it out. Like I said, I don't use it too much because I just do this in, in Photoshop and Photoshop does um, these days a really, really good job at it. Um, and then next up I have yellow images. This again is paid for, but something cool that they do I uh, just need to find it. Uh, you can see I haven't really, I haven't really used this much either. But what you can do, they give you stock, stock images that you can, but it's a 3D image. So you can literally rotate it however you want it on whichever axis. And so you get, get it in the position where you want, and then you can download the Im that particular image. So if you need like a sandwich or um, a burger or something in a particular orientation, you can come here, find a stock image, orientate it how you want it, and download that PNG. And then That's really cool. Next up is Colorable. So this is also a pretty damn cool website. So this gives you a block of text and then you'll upload the colors you're using onto it like this. Uh, let me just see here. Let's just go random. Did they change it? I think they changed the website a bit. Okay, I don't think it's, yeah, it's not the same as it was. This is, again, just to test your your color palette's um, contrast, if the text is legible or not. And it also helps with color blindness. I, I think they changed, I might just not know where to go now. Um, but it did used to tell you, it gave you options where you could select um, the different types of color blind, um, so that you can see if your color palette works with, mm is user friendly for everyone um i'm sure they still do that i just I, I need to check this page again just to see where that functionality went to um next up i've used this quite a few times so this is font pair um, or you can pair up different fonts um to see how they work together um fonts font and well, font fan families, font faces, that's a that's an art form on its own. I mean, Jesus, <laughs> say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can dive so deep in font, it's it's crazy. So this is a really nice website to very quickly see font pairings and how well they work together. And what's nice about it, it gives you the the actual fonts they're using, so they're heading um, the body copy and download font pair. Very simple, straightforward. So if you find something you really, really like, you can download it straight from Fontpay. Um, what I'll do after this series of after this video, probably tomorrow morning, I'll go in and I'll drop the links for all these these sites that I'm going through now, if anyone's interested. That's cool. And then the last one is the noun project that I showed earlier, where again, it's it's icons you can download. Um, like I said, this is one I discovered today. So I really haven't played around with it much, but if you're interested, go check it out and let me know what you think. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, that's pretty much all the, not all, but it's the 
my my top resources that i've collected thus far um it's a building collection is what well, building it's a growing collection so as i add more i'll i'll let you guys know in previous videos what to keep your eye eyes out for right so now back to the design so we're looking for a streaming image um not really a background i want an actual illustration and that doesn't help so i've been streaming and it just gives you stream overlays <laughs> um, let's dig a little bit deeper hmm let's try let's try re recording it's probably gonna give me like s studio stuff yeah um this is this sometimes takes majority of the time is just finding the right search term on these sites to to get the the image you're looking for uh, studio You know what i'm actually just gonna stick to gaming and let's just dig deeper and keep going until we there has to be something here that will work again i don't want to sit the whole stream hunting for images i just want to find something that's acceptable and um i'll always dive in again and find find the perfect image So normally I would rather just, given the time frame, if, if this was like a actual project, I would rather work it into the budget to hire an illustrator to create all of these, these images for me, um, rather than hunting for free to use images as I'm doing now. Um, you know what, let's just use this one. Like I said, I'll find a, I'll find the right ones, all the right images. Right. So let me just. Get this open. Just extracting it quick. this so that was a illustrator file so i just want to go remove from this design what i don't want and save it out actually i'm just going to use it as is but still i want that just save that out export as PNG 
Yeah, let's save it to the desktop. Cool. And then... Where did it go? Somewhere here. There we go. Why did, did not save it as a PNG? That's weird. I'll save as. I gotta export it. For web legacy. There we go. PNG save. I just want to open it in Photoshop quick. Because there's a lot of white space there and it's saved and I don't know why. So let's just do that. So yeah, I do think we can find a much cooler image to use here, but I'll, I'll do that at a later, later stage. Fluffy Reap, you guys still there? Yeah, we are. Yep, right. yep, we're here. You guys just went really quiet. <laughs> nah, I'm leaving cakes, I don't know what <laughs> Also one cake now. I'm gonna stop eating cake. The, I, the last oh, time I, I had cake was Christmas, the Christmas fruit cake. Nice. Uh, I'm not really a fruit cake fan. I played I that eat. full of the fight to get last night. Oh, like I feel a bit better than I did after the first day. Oh, yeah. Like my body's slowly adjusting, getting like somewhat used to it, but dear god. <laughs> I cool. So here I wanna wanna follow the the whole circle type vibe. Just wanna turn my grid on quick. things yeah um, so what I want to do here I think I have the plugin installed mm. so InDesign has a nice little plugin that gives me faces so I have a calendar plugin at the moment icon plugin and UI faces so I select the blocks i want faces to appear in i select where i want okay. it to come from so i'm just going to say unsplash which is the website i showed you guys the where we got these images from mm -hmm. um, okay. so the plugin automatically pulls images from there and i can click apply randomly give it a second or two Ta da! And I drop some random faces in. Or 
Awesome. So now I want to use the same font I did there. As I said, just placeholders for now. So, you guys can move down for now. And this will be streamer name. Come on. I just want to group all these together so I can move all of them at once. And then, oh shit. <laughs> and then we can line them up a bit better here. There we go. Let's maybe make this, hold up. It's a line near to the bottom there. say meet our streamers because it's they're they're part of the the pure paragon but they're not necessarily pure paragon streamers mm -hmm. um, so maybe just featured streamers you can just call it that for now looks what you can expect from us meet some of our factions featured streamers so it's a, again a little intro piece maybe i can do the same type of thing i did here with a block what do you guys think or does it look okay just like this it's good uh, which one are you looking at uh this section here where it's just mm -hmm. a bit more, like the bullet point, just fleshed out a bit more. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe I can do a block thing like this. Not all the blocks, just the main main block like that down here. Yeah. Let's see what that looks well, like. Well, give it a shot. If we don't like it, we'll all just roll it back. change the color to different gradients and these we can probably make a bit bigger just lock that and make it 200. Damn it, I still haven't changed it. <laughs> the second I hit zero, it moves <laughs> my mic still. I just want to make sure the music's still on track here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Do you want to keep a uniform block on the left or you want to flip it? Hey. 
What, what do you mean? Creep? Oh, Proxy's got to muted himself again. I think so, yeah, he has. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Uh, sorry, yeah, you were saying? Hey, uh, do you want to keep it all uniform with the text block on the left, or do you want to flip them? I'll put the streamers on the left, and the text yeah. block on the right. Yeah, we can give that a go. Eh, just add some variation in between yeah. pages as you're scrolling. Yeah, that works. Because then the stream is all sort of more frontline. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Chat, what do you guys think? You guys have gone quiet on me here. Yeah, I like that. I do want to play around with this green a little bit later on. I feel like it could be a bit brighter. Kind of kind of gets lost a little bit. Doesn't pop as much as I'd like it to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same color, just a bit brighter. Well, same hue, but just the... make it stand out a bit more awesome so that's our three main sections i think that i miss anything no so we have um the landing page sign up login we have bullet points guilds or oh, not guilds anymore we can call this factions and streamers then for the next section we're not done on this page just quite yet there's still another global element we need to create, which will be the footer. So what I generally like to do um, for contact sections, I don't like, um, well, it's on a case-to-case -case basis, but normally I prefer um, not having a dedicated contact page unless there's a good reason for it. I prefer building the contact form into the footer of the page so that you can access it on every page. Um, so normally what I'll do in the menu on the contact us button, if the if I even do put a contact us button in the main menu, when you hit it on whichever page you are, it'll literally just scroll you down to the bottom to the footer where the contact form is. What is up, Oyster? How's it going, buddy? Oyster. Welcome to part two of our design stream. Making good progress here. We've finished up three sections tonight well i'll say two and a half because we did a lot of not really i recreated this when we started so we finished up three sections thus far i'm about to do the footer and what's the time at actually you know what i think we can take a another break i'm gonna i was going to end the stream a little bit earlier because of load shedding the site but um apparently there's no clarification on the well the schedule says i'm not getting load shedded um Risk it. and people have told me i'm getting load shedded so i don't know anymore but i'm just gonna push through um hopefully we don't get load shedded in the next nine minutes if i die that's why <laughs> <laughs> if you but die, it, if if i'm still going. here if i'm still here we'll push through until our usual time um so i'm gonna take a, a second break quick i'm gonna make some more coffee um so get some snacks get get something to drink hit the bathroom and when you come back we'll do the footer section and then we'll mm. have a look at um the following pages and what's next cool guys see you in a minute or two <laughs>
Alright, so we're back, people. <clears throat> Hope you're all still doing well and enjoying the stream. Fluffy is busy smashing people's heads in Valhalla. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Ow! Oh, okay. So you say it's you say the game's good thus far, Valhalla. Uh, I've kind of like twenty hours. Um, like any glitches? There is a, there is a couple of uh, I'd say there is definitely some uh, I'd say gripes I have some of the game. Like all the radio mechanics great and all, but I feel like they they kind of messed up the whole big shift mechanic like they did in Odyssey and. And uh, Black Flag, they could have included like bigger ships, I wish. People like get to invade, raid places and monasteries and stuff like that's fun and all. But uh, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that Ubisoft neglected in this game, which they should have been permitted, like modesty. Like they don't have a transmog system, so I can't wear the armor that I like to look. Oh, like, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. a that's a feature that's missing in a lot of games these days, especially games yeah. in the direction where games are going where you can collect armor and your character's look changes constantly yeah. like it'll be nice if you find something cool that you want to consistently wear to just be able to do that yeah the one thing that's baffling for me right now with Valhalla is that Ubisoft is kind of changing the direction when it comes to how they're managing the games like with eye control detection and stuff like that it's quite scary for me because cool yeah. um like Odyssey had a lot of armor sets and legendary rares and stuff like that. This entire game only consists of 10 armor sets in total, which you oh, upgrade shit. and then it changes images. Now for RPG open world, that's very little for armor sets. That's very yeah. small. And yeah, what's no, surprising is. for me, the premium, the, there is a way to earn the premium armors without paying money, like $10 or something like that. Um, yeah. Do this weekly and you do like these challenges and you can use the, the opals to buy it. But they, they rotate, one rotates day and one rotates weekly for the best stuff. And yeah. the problem with the, these armors that are that are premium is that they have the best stats. Even though oh, it's, I see. It's a single player RPG, but it seems like Ubisoft is locking the best weapons on purpose so that you can buy, pay money to to actually uh, to buy it. Like yeah. this uh, Hell's armor, you know, like Hell, like from uh, you know, like from the Viking, uh, one of the, the Viking gods, stuff like that. Um, yes. You know, that uh, that armor set, then weapons have extreme amount of like life steal. It's not even funny. You can literally survive on that armor alone. Shit. Um, but there's more premium armor sets than there are armor sets you can get in the game. There's ten premium sets and no, eleven premium sets and ten standard sets. That's what baffles me. Holy crap, okay. The best looking weapons are premium. And I'm like, yeah. why? <laughs> like, it's, 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 it doesn't make any sense to me. But the, 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 the great thing, okay, cool, it's a beautiful open world. The story isn't boring, thankfully. Um, and the combat is fun. There's a lot of cool abilities and skills you can unlock. It's it's great. Like, like a grief, you can throw those multiple axes. There's a Russian bash, you can grab someone, throw them off the cliff. Um, then there's the uh, what's it, the range of Halheim where you can just bat, uh, like spear into a person and beat them down on the ground and when they're about to approach death you hit the hit button in the face. Shit. It's, <laughs> it's quite cool. It's, 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 this seems that I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have still 30 abilities to discover. Okay. Which I haven't. Which so is still, good, which is good. Still it's a bit good. of gameplay to go then. Still a bit of gameplay to go. Well, let's hop back into into the design, shall we? Right. So, um, one more little thing I'd like to add to this featured streamer section before we move on to the footer. Um, so, I want to add a little, just a little circle. Um, say, yeah, 60s, 60s, good. Just like that. Um, actually, the color we can make it the same as that. Just line it up more or less over there. So I actually want to drop it onto the shape, not on top of the group. Just put that on 
on each stream I'll show you guys now what my thinking is here just like that and now I need to go grab some icons quick um, so let's just go to free pick well flat icon not free pick and um, look for the YouTube icon Let's grab that SVG download and then let let's grab a uh, twitch twitch icon as well and download the SVG for that awesome now I'm gonna drop both of these in. Oh shit, that's not good. Um, let's just do that again. Why are you doing that? Okay, there we go. Awesome. Cool, so let's drop that in there. Size you up a bit. Just like that. And we can change the color to white. Again, I just want to position it so it doesn't look awkward to the eye. So it looks like it's in the middle. Just like that. I can copy that and do the same. Let's put it down here just like that and then the YouTube one uh, okay I see this this isn't gonna work okay let's, let's grab a different YouTube icon quick This one should should work. Let's try that. Let's drop it in there. Ha, that's what I wanted. But the, so that the little play button is cut out and not part of the image. Now this way, from the get-go, people can see on which platform these streamers are on. Hmm. I think it's just a, a cute little way to give a little bit extra info. I like. What do you guys think? Chat, Fluffy? Yeah. That is good. I like it. Awesome. Cool. So we have four sections done. Let's do the let's do the footer. So I'm thinking a maybe a solid color for the footer. Um hmm. we do want to a more of a colorful image there so maybe let's see what this looks like if i just do something like like this let's let's do something different with the footer let's give it a bit of a personality some shape to it maybe just something like that okay actually that looks kind of that fits nicely cool then i want to turn my guides back on quick 
And now I just want to create two blocks that I'm going to work in just to get my, my sizing correct. Oh, I'll remove the blocks just now when I'm done. So let's put your height at, let's say, let's say 800. And let's center you. The second one on this side. Cool. So now I want to grab the logo again and just drop you in here. Maybe about there. That's fine. Um, Can I pull out rulers? No, okay, never mind. Um, just drop this opacity just a little bit, just like that. Don't worry, like I said, I'm gonna remove the blocks when I'm done. Actually, logo we can put right up against the edge there. Um, grab that. Logo we can make a bit smaller. Just line the text up. So this text will pretty much just be since 2020, bloody, bloody, blah, all rights reserved, all that stuff. Then let's do some, some quick links. So we'll go, um, let's do home. Just want to copy that. Um, let's do account. Oh, shit. Home accounts. Um, Factions. Mm. Dreamers. And then we can just bring that in a bit. Duplicate this to that side. And then here we can go um, terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. Um, privacy policy. And I don't really want to do contact us because the form's going to be right next to it. Um, I don't know these these links I'm just making up as we go <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then let's go help so again these are pretty much just placeholders they'll they'll be decided on and change actually they could just stay there one two three four five and let's remove this block. And now this side, we're going to create our form. Yeah. What's up, Flings? Thanks. I really appreciate it. Um, so this whole block, we could actually... Hang on, let's just measure it properly. So one, two, three, four, five. Line you up. And then this whole footer section, we can just make it a bit smaller. It's not a, f it's not meant to be a full, full section like the rest of them. Mm 
there would, there's not going to be that much text here, so we can actually make this a bit smaller. And bring this up a bit, like that. Cool, let's grab one of these. Oh, no, we don't want that aligned like that. There we go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just use a proper title like this one. Again, I want it to look right to the eye. It doesn't necessarily have to mathematically be aligned. So, get in touch with sus. <laughs> us. <laughs> cool, so this, we just want to nudge it a bit. Go. And now let's create our input fields. Whoops. So let's bring the opacity back up on this. Let's give it some. No, I don't think we need rounded corners. We're not really using rounded corners anywhere else. So we want three. So that's actually that 100's too much. Let's make it 60. 60 is good. Um, but I want to halve it like that. And line that. Looks good. Although I think everything needs to just move. Okay, no. We need, a, we need a little bit more space at the bottom. So I'm just going to make it a little bit larger than it. Not as large as it was, just a bit more. About there. And now we can grab a button. And we can drop it in there and say send message. Cool. Now, actually, let's mm -hmm. align these to there. That looks good. Um, and then we can have some ghost text or placeholder text. So I'm going to grab this, drop it in there and make that dark, not too dark. Let's make it, that looks good. Name, ooh, hang on. Let's just align it to the left. Name. The side will go. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Is it? No. I don't like it. Let's just use this. It's a bit too bold. As a placeholder, it's um, when you start typing, it's going to be the same. Um, and if it's that bold in this actual message section, it's just going to be way too much. You're going to get like three words in and you. <laughs> The section's gonna be full. Yeah, yeah. So let's just go name. Copy that over. This is email. We 
can turn our grid off again. Get a little bit smaller. There you go, guys. What do you think? Oh, it looks lovely. So let's just check it out full screen again. So we have our landing section with register or sign in. Scroll down the bullet points of what you can expect. And then we have our faction feature area, then the streamer feature area, and the contact section. I like. I like. Actually, let's let's try and do something cool with that contact section as well. Um, Let's go over here and hit contact. See what cool icons we can get. Uh, actually, it's going to be more phones. I want a message. Uh, I like that. Let's use this one. that in and I actually want to make this a bit bigger maybe on this side no let's leave it there let's put it about there let's send it all the way to the back make it a bit bigger okay no maybe smaller is better Okay, and I want to mask it. Can I mask that? It's not allowing me to mask it. Oh well. Let's just put it about there. And then we're going to make you white. And the opacity of that, we're going to drop to about 20%. Let's just see what happens if I really make it big. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. About there. Yeah, I like that. Maybe just a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. Cool. Let's move this over there. And I think we have it there, guys. Page number one is done. Yeah. I really like it. Chat, if you guys have any suggestions or thoughts or references, remember to to send it my way, whether you do it on the chats or in the comments or um, just straight on our Discord. Um, send me your suggestions and your references and we can definitely work some of it in. Remember, this isn't... I don't want these sessions to be just me designing. If you guys have cool ideas or you see me doing something that you think could look cooler in a different way, shout let me know um it's always a, i think it'll be really cool if this is um even though it's me designing that it's like a kind of a team effort if you guys have cool ideas i can potentially incorporate it and uh, a piece of all the proxy nights become a part of the design and um, if all goes well you guys will see this website live in the future and being used by who knows how many other people um but yeah, so 
next steps i think i'm yeah i'm going to call the stream a little bit early tonight um i thought i'd be busy with this until the the end of the stream but it's not a train smash we it's, it's literally we're probably going to only end like 20 minutes early which is fine so next steps in episode three um i want to i'm probably going to make some changes to these next pages as well as far as the rules the discord the clans um i think a few of these can be condensed into um for instance the the discord can become part of the clans page that could be an extra link on the clans page i don't think we need a discord page on its own it's I, it feels like it's going to be a bit too much reputation um so the streamers will have dedicated pages the game servers will have dedicated pages and the clans will have dedicated pages um also the rules i don't know if we really need to if we really need a rules page i think rules will be more dependent per clan or per discord or whatever that case might be um um it's it's going to be up to like with the proxy nights we have our rules in our discord or how we uh just in general our rules and that's going to be different from in this case faction to faction right um so i don't think we need a general's ru rules page um because that's going to change um from server to server um so these two we can combine so essentially there's only three pages that i want to focus on which is the streamer the game servers and the clans page and in episode three i want to work a little bit faster i think you guys after these two episodes you have a good understanding of what i'm going for um the feel that i'm going for for this website so I, f I i feel comfortable in working a bit faster in the next one so i'm going to push to finish up all three of these pages in the next episode and then episode four um will be what i like to call polishing maybe a, a little bit of prototyping making it a little bit interactive um but in those in the next two episodes let me know if you guys want a follow-up series on actually building the website um if i am going to be doing the build i'll be using wordpress and a theme called divi um if you guys don't know what divi is go check it out it's really really cool if you're interested in building websites it's it's a theme that's pretty much a site builder um so the the sky's the limit you can pretty much build whatever you want with the divi theme inside of uh, wordpress which is really really cool i've been using it for a while and that's most definitely the the tech stack i'll be using to to build this website but definitely give me a shout if you're keen to see that in um the pure paragons website build series it will probably also be a three four episode um, if we do do that but i hope you guys like what we've created here as much as i'm liking it i think it's really cool um it feels like a like a gamer site to me even though it's it, it's got the darkness the dark mode that a lot of gamers dig or developers or designers i like dark mode in most of my applications and if you go look at gaming sites most of them are the trend is it's it's dark with vivid colors um, and i think we 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 really nailed it yeah mm -hmm. um, yeah i think it looks good what do you guys think let me know in the comments um honest opinions in the comments that's what i want to see on this video <laughs> yeah but right guys it's been fun it's been really really fun i enjoy these design streams um it's, it's very different to the to the gaming streams like i've gotten i've become so comfortable with the gaming streams um i'm still getting used to it uh, i'm still getting used to the design stream you know it's it's my passion i love design um but it's completely different to the gaming stuff so episode two done give me give me about another another episode let's let's give it one more episode and then i'll then i'll really hit my groove with these and we're going to do some interesting fun things um like i said i want to start picking up the pace as well so we can get more done in a design stream without overwhelming or information overload of course but uh thanks so much for watching oh yes i completely forgot to mention after the break uh reap had to bounce that's why you haven't been hearing from him um he sends his greetings to all of you 
and he'll definitely be in on friday evening Fr fluffy friday evening you're hosting right yes and we'll tell the chat dead by daylight. by daylight it's gonna be fun it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be good a lot of screaming a lot of raging yeah, just, don't, <laughs> and, just don't disturb the neighbors again yeah i'll try my best this time not to not to disturb the neighbors <laughs> But cool guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome. Fluffy, you can say cheers to our wonderful nights. Goodbye everyone. Have a lovely evening. Till Friday guys, stay safe and see you all then. Cheers.